допустим. Touch my Percy. What's happening, people? Welcome to the General Banter vlog. Huh? It's now Thursday the 29th of September. Once again, this vlog isn't gonna be hugely exciting because we're going away this weekend and I have a lot of work to do. So, this vlog is now basically me just trying to burn some time before we go to England and uh, that'll be a much more exciting vlog over the weekend. So, I would also like to address the reaction to the last vlog, which again was another video made because I didn't actually film that much for the vlog in the days leading up to that video. It was basically me talking about how it came about that I actually make videos and do comedy. It's pretty overwhelmed by the reaction to be honest because most people were sort of even comments like, oh, this is really interesting, um, great insight to, you know, you or your videos or whatever. So, Kim got me by surprise. You know, I wasn't even going to upload it. I thought it was boring as shit. But people seem to enjoy it, so cheers for watching it. I haven't really got up to a whole pile of stuff in the last couple of days. What I did do, however, was get some new equipment for the old camera. So what I'll do is, I'll switch to another camera, which may be considerably shitter than this one. And I'll show you some of the little gadgets that I got. EXCITEMENT! Get ready for the shit camera. Three, two, one. First of all, I'll show you this camera. This is the camera that I shoot on. It's a Lumix G7. It is 4K photos and video. It's got this little tiny fucking lens, which is actually pretty wide, and then it's got the old screen, all that sort of shit. As I mentioned before, I use this, which is a little, uh... Oh, look at my face through the hole. Fuck me. This is the little wide-angle adapter that I use, just to give a bit of a fucking wide shot. Now, another little toy arrived today, which is this, which is a little cage for the old camera, because you know what I'm like, and I'll probably end up throwing this fucking camera all around the place. So it goes on thusly. Safe. I also got another sweet present, which girlfriend Maureen bought me as an early birthday present. Check this out. Oh shit. This is the old Joby fucking giant gorilla pod. Not some sort of anal beads. BTW. Check that out. Then the camera goes on top of that shit. There you have it there. Mounted on the giant Joby Gorilla Pod. Oh yeah, and also also now complete with Rode fucking Video Mic Go. So there you go. There's the ultimate selfie stick setup for the video making Wankstein. So this will pretty much be me walking around with this. This is what it takes I'm afraid if you're calling Gettys. This is a Gettys proof camera. You know, it's in a fucking cage. It's got the anal beads attached. You know, probably fuck that off the ground and it would be sweet. So uh, we'll switch back to the good camera now. Cheers, guys. Just about to pop out here. A um, couple of videos to make before I go away here at the weekend. Can you guess what it's gonna be? What about G? Jesus Christ. Starting this old garage here. Punch bags there. Start making a video. I mean. Thursday afternoon, and I'm just fucking dressed like a dickhead. Check out these glasses though. McGregor as fuck. It is amazing how someone like McGregor can wear something like this and he and look like a dickhead. Look like a fucking dickhead. But people are now just walking around like this. You know, I've seen wee girls just wearing glasses like this. Like, non-ironically. Not even Halloween yet. Just walking around. If I was in his position, I'd be wearing fucking skirts and kilts and all just to see what the fuck people would actually wear. You just gotta be influential as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yeezys. Kanye puts out a shoe, everyone fucking kills themselves to buy it. If you were wearing that, back when I was about 15, you'd have got fucking bullied. Mate, there's no, there's not even an air bubble in that, you fucking queer. Is, is probably what my dad would have said to me at the time. Anyway, video's wrapped up. What's left to do today? Edit, beggy my call round, we'll see what happens. Disco, 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 disco. Begley's going to Russia. So we'll do a little video thing here, just in case. You don't make it back. Which is a very high possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, should we type in like horrible things that have happened to tourists? Yeah. What not to do in Russia? Don't be gay. First, first of all, or black apparently. Do they not like blacks? No. First of all, explain why you're going. I'm going over to perform in the second annual Morton McDonough, International Morton McDonough Festival, so I'm going over to do a, a play. It's all paid for, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What did you, how many pints can you get for, uh... For a hundred quid, you can get the equivalent of a hundred and thirteen pints. <laughs> I love 
I'm very specific so, that is. Mine fall isn't gonna die. <laughs> Don't show up empty handed, this is number one of fifteen, you ready? Uh, so bring them a bottle of Buckfast. Do you think do you think you can get a bottle of Buckfast over? Do you take it? Say it's a gift for here we are for my liver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is for Vladimir Putin, is he around or? I'll have to drink it then, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't forget to take your shoes off. This rule applies to Russian and Asian cultures. Many Russian apartments, there are many rugs. Nah, or, fuck God, I or, hate feet. Or even... <laughs> they might offer you some tapachkis, some slippers. Never whistle while indoors. Superstitions say uh, that it could lead to financial ruin, poverty, or just another invasion of cockroaches. Is there going to be cockroaches in Russia? I would have thought because it's so fucking cold that no one sure. wants to be about. Cockroaches can withstand, like... <sighs> Nuclear fucking explosions and shit. Uh, never sit at the corner of a dinner table. Never agree to vodka if the shot glasses were turned. Drinking with friends or others uh, you just got acquainted with. Once the bottle is opened, it is not stored away, set aside, or rightfully refused. Don't ruin the toast. Are they basically saying if someone offers you vodka, you basically have to just stay there till it's gone? Yeah. I got a friend send me a book saying the Xenophobes Guide to Russia. Right. And I was reading through it and I was underlining funny things and it said that the only excuse for not drinking vodka is if you've got a stomach ulcer or cancer if someone if someone offers it to you like they'll think yeah oh shit there's something wrong with you mate keep the empty bottles off once vodka is finished it is a rule that the bottle should be placed on the ground if the company as a guest but that's a piece of pizza i don't understand what the fuck that is never take the last shirt no matter of what expense you have for yourself never be the one that takes the last always give back all right okay right. so oh, there's a picture of a pizza so don't, don't take the last slice but what if you're drinking vodka and they're like there's one more of the shot what? and you're like nah i'm all right i've got an ulcer and he's like no take it and you're like nah and then you're just in this battle back and forth and never lick the food off a knife informal dress codes are not so usual russians are known to dress quite nice that's me fuck going dutch is not expected What's Dutch mean? While we live in different and changing times, the tradition of covering a meal and evening with a female is generally upheld. Going Dutch is sharing it, isn't it? Yeah, if you pay for the bill, don't let any of these bitches pay for your dinner. Don't smile profusely. Is that why they're all just like, don't expect a lady to carry? There you go, Begley. If she's got big, heavy tits, you carry them. <laughs> Never disrespect invalids, so don't be slagging any weeds. What? <laughs> Never crack a joke about one's family, there's all your mad jokes fucking out the window. About someone else's family? Bye bye Connor, never ever joke of the family members. Growing up I heard a plethora of your mama jokes. Yeah. You can crack a joke on ethnicity. <laughs> you can crack a joke on <laughs> ethnicity, appearance or gender based jokes. Look at you, you black faggot. <laughs> but if you insult another's mother and father, it may not come across as a joke at all. Your ma's your dad. Your ma your ma's your, your dad. dad. Remember that? Bodily functions are frowned upon. Uh, That's me, I fart lots. So if it happens, don't make a big deal out of it. Some say not to even apologize. They simply ignore it. So if you're just like, <coughs> just dead eye someone, don't smile, make fun of blacks. Don't go for shock value. Well, I'll never be there. <laughs> Pussy red. Never confuse her neighbors. Don't they speak Russian? in Ukraine, so what's the difference? Is that the old, ask a guy from Australia, is he from New Zealand or something? Yeah, something like that. Like, Fuck you, you can't. Never shake a hand through a doorway. It is uh, considered rude to shake hands with your gloves on, so take your gloves off before any proper interaction. So there you go, 21 things not to do in Russia. I'll probably do all of them. So if you're in Russia, make sure you go see Begley's play. Yeah, it's in Perm, which is basically Siberia, so. Get the nips out. Begley's away to Russia. Yay. I'm gonna play some Russian music. Bro. I can get into that. <laughs> it's alright, isn't it? I'm putting it out on hookers. Don't show me your feet. Drink this vodka. Don't drink the last one. <laughs> I don't hate that. I don't hate that either. Look at my Russian nippers. Good luck to Begley in Russia. Begley's Begski.